Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of RTHD and in this episode I want to go really quickly to show you guys the dual channel memory on the Lenovo Flex 5 2 in 1 14 inch laptop. So what I want to show you guys is the task manager really quickly and as you can see under the performance tab you can actually go down to memory. Now this is Windows 10 Pro edition and uh, if you look on sort of to the center of the screen a little bit below you see slots and it says use two of two and if you just leave the mouse over it you see eight gigs 3200 megahertz uh, on each slot slot one and slot two so that kind of gives you an idea that it's running on dual channel memory and the reason why you want it on dual channel memory is uh, pretty much because uh, you get the best performance out of the Vega 6 graphics when you have a when you have a system that's using you know the two channels instead of just one channel and so uh, as I switch over to the GPU you can see it says AMD Radeon graphics and it's actually of course the Vega 6 graphics and as you can look down here it actually has dedicated GPU of 512 megabytes of dedicated GPU and so it actually comes with additional memory you know so uh, even though they mentioned that it has shared memory it also has that 512 megabytes of um, dedicated memory and then when the system uses uh, the 512 megabytes when it uses you know a high level of it uh, close to the max then it switches over to use the shared GPU memory and so as you can see, it's actually allocated uh, nearly eight gigabytes of uh, GPU memory from the dual channel memory that I just showed you guys. So um, there's a lot of memory uh, that this GPU has. Now, it's not just only about the memory because of course, uh, when you look at the performance, um, this is of course not a dedicated GPU but really part of the CPU and that's why they call it the APU and uh, with that being said it doesn't you know it still is able to handle some of the newer games uh, I say a lot of people have been using it uh, on low and medium settings on 1080p and they have been getting really good results from it at least over 30 frames per second uh, and sometimes even peaking at 60 and so so that's probably the sweet spot so I just wanted to show you guys uh, you know the Vega 6 uh, how the Vega 6 sort of does uh, the GPU um, how, how the memory is and also just give you an idea that uh, confirms that it's actually using the dual channel uh, memory setup so as you can see uh, windows is even able to to tell that this form factor is actually a row of chips so it doesn't you know it, it actually because remember this this system has no upgradable ram it's actually built onto the motherboard and so it's able to see that so uh windows 10 is pretty good you know just this stats alone i, I think i'm pretty impressed by that and uh as you can see as well uh just to mention I'm actually I'm actually recording right now with a uh, screen software which you can see on the side here and this thing is using it isn't breaking a sweat at all it's actually at 30% uh, of the GPU and my CPU seems to be maxing out but I think it's because the screen recorder doesn't actually use or utilize the video encode feeders because because the Vega 6 actually has video and code features uh, so if you are using you know special software like uh, like maybe uh, Adobe Premiere or uh, DaVinci and I heard DaVinci is actually better to use for AMD um, you will probably get more video encoding out of the, the chip which means that it's going to reduce the CPU load and uh, in fact I've never actually seen the CPU load this high but uh, again that's you know that's totally fine so I'm, I'm going off topic here I just wanted to mention I just wanted to give you an idea that it is running on dual channel and it's actually uh, it actually has its own dedicated GPU uh, memory and that uh, it also uses shared memory as well 
And uh, just for the sake of it, we can also see that it has a DirectX support for 12, DirectX 12. And it's currently showing me that I'm only using 0.3 out of 8.2 gigabytes. So that's, that's plenty, plenty space for games, um, for running games. And uh, again, I'm not so much of a gamer, um, but uh, if you have had some good results with it, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and also subscribe. And thank you so much for viewing. Uh, and if you have any more questions, please let me know as well in the comments below. And I'll probably make other videos answering whatever questions you have related to the Lenovo Flex 5 Ryzen 4500U version of uh, this laptop, this 14-inch laptop. So far, it's really, really great. Uh, you can't even hear the fans in this thing, um, even though it's using all that CPU power. I'm, 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 I don't think you can hear it through the microphone, but I guess that, that'll be in another video. So thanks again, and uh, see you guys again soon. Bye.